Shanghai for four years. Uh, my background is actually from fashion retail, so I've worked for a couple of international brands. Uh, one of my favorite experiences, I think, was Guess. Uh, I've also worked for other brands like Tommy and Okaidi and Tommy uh, Hilfiger Okaidi and uh, Tally Vile. Uh, so it's been a good journey and uh, I've been teaching uh, with Aoife for three years now. Uh, I'm actually teaching a couple of different uh, subjects. Uh, this semester I'm doing fashion organizations, but I'm also teaching integrated marketing communications and PR and event management. Um, and this is because of my background. Actually, my actual study uh, specialization was IMC, Integrated Marketing Communications, but fashion and retail is my passion. So naturally, since I live in Shanghai and I'm planning to actually move here for a couple more years, I'm very excited about Shanghai's uh, rise in the fashion field and I would say I would give it an 11 out of 10. I think Shanghai for me uh, is intriguing. Uh, it's very mind-broadening, I would say, and it's fascinating. So for teaching, I'm not, I don't want to be cliche and say, uh, you know, how I influence the lives of my students. But of course, uh, this is the main thing. But actually for me, what I enjoy the most about, especially teaching in IFA, it's because it's out of experience. I like to pass on my experience to the students so they don't have to start from scratch. And I like to give them the tricks that no one will really give them when they're working in a company. Graduate degree for me is actually very beneficial uh, to start with. for starters. Uh, it's a very well known uh, university when we talk about fashion business, and it's got its weight in the market as well. And I can tell you that from actually first hand experience because my husband actually studied in IFA, and that opened a lot of new doors for him. Uh, and that's why we're actually living in Shanghai today. So it does give you an opportunity. Um, in more markets because of the level of exposure you get. So you're not just in Europe or just in Asia, you actually mix the two together and it becomes a real international program. So I think it gives you the level of exposure you need to start your career in fashion. So first of all, I think uh, Ortega, you know, Amnesio, I'm not sure about how you pronounce his name, Amnesio Ortega, and he's the owner and founder of Zara, basically, for the Inditex group. I would really love to have dinner with him and see like how he came up with the idea and how he, he's become this, it's become this massive empire. Uh, the second person uh, is more historic and it's uh, Coco Chanel actually because I feel that uh, she's interesting and the way the brand developed is very interesting and it would be interesting to actually see her and Carl Lagerfeld together at the dinner and see their take on it. And the third uh, personality for me is actually an Egyptian, a young Egyptian designer. She's a hot couture uh, designer and her name, uh, her brand's name is Tamraza. Her name is Farid, Farida Tamraza. And uh, recently she put Egypt back on the fashion uh, map by dressing a lot of Hollywood stars. And uh, she actually got an award in uh, New York Fashion Week. So it'll be fun. My greatest learning experience, I would say, is actually working in the stores. I think that benefited me the most out of everything else that I've done, uh, plus traveling. My advice would be to be flexible, start anywhere, just put your foot in, basically in an organization, and then work your way up. Don't be picky about, okay, I want to do this, don't want to do this right now. If you really want it, start anywhere. <laughs>